Connecticut. Them by me. The leading forum for public service media throughout the Commonwealth. This is the voice of Kenya. This is not a live broadcast. We're here at the National Museum of Kenya, Nairobi, to talk about digital migration, the digital revolution, the advantages that digital will bring. I got into a bus and came to Nairobi. Bringing together broadcasters, media makers, students. We have a CBA Live Facebook, so we are hoping for a lot of interactivity. CBA Live in Nairobi. I have been working with engineers and technicians who are involved with the making of programs and the engineering of these programs and the delivery of these programs to the audiences. And I check into this all the time. Digital world has changed the way that we work as broadcasters. What we have is creativity in Africa and what work we have to sell to the world. Information is healthy. We're not actually working analog, sitting under digital. You still want to remain in the stone age. Analog, logical. <laughs> Do Kenyans understand what it means when you say analog? I just learned something like... I didn't know there was uh, Twitter for images. Move Kenya towards the migration to from analog digital broadcasting. It's about the pool of information. You can start to tell stories about factual things using a dramatic media. Why should I Google? <laughs> why should you ask? Well, why should I be Googled? Turning factual material into fiction or using fictional material to tell a factual story. This is the voice of Kenya. What I've been doing is looking at digital news gathering, what it means for journalists and how it changes how journalists work and how audiences can speak to journalists. Audiences were passive. People are now active. They are interactors with media. They are not audiences anymore. Broadcasting has evolved over the years and it evolved through the analog one. But we have genuinely gone to revolution with this change. As I learned today, the, the coverage they have is around two-thirds of the population. If you compare to us in Europe, where they cover 90 to 95 percent of the population with terrestrial transmitters. The election that happened in Sudan, they were using some of our products to do streaming, live streaming of the events as they happen on the ground. Some of you work for broadcasting stations that they are limited in the number of channels they have because of the analog situation. Victor Oluach from Kibera Film School came up with the idea of building a school in Kibera to train young people to tell their own stories visually. Broadcasting is now very much joined up from the microphone and the camera lens right through to the loudspeaker and the screen of the television set. It's been a really enriching experience. We've watched some of the videos and some of the films. They've been extraordinary. It's been a true enriching experience for me. This conference has helped me so much. CBA,